All right, so we spent the night in this hotel room. It's not bad, it's just the whole hotel feels kind of tired. Anyways, the plan for today is we're gonna go do the least exciting part of the trip for me, which is shopping at the outlets. It's just like all the brands on 34th Street in Manhattan, but cheaper and outlet quality. What are you doing in there? Oh, you found the safe. You can put your jewelry in there. Do you have any jewelry you wanna throw in that box? But there is one thing I really like about this hotel room. We've arrived. The Woodbury outlets. This entire thing is set up just to separate you from as much of your money as possible. And unfortunately, that's what's gonna happen to me today. It's impossible for anyone to come here and not spend money on something. Now these two, they need stuff. And I'll probably buy some undershirts or something exciting. This is my job to stop this from happening. Oh, Violet, Violet, you don't work here. Come back, sweetie, come back. You don't work here. Zero sum games, that's what this is. Not buying anything at Burberry is a win for my wallet, but also a loss for the misses. I think I'm gonna end up losing this game. In fact, I think the rules are such that we can't leave until I lose. All right, every time we come here, we always get something from this store, as you can tell from this logo. Yeah, that's right, those are shoes. Now we have so many baby girl clothes for Violet. We haven't thrown anything out, we're saving all of it. So I'm praying to God that our next kid, if we have one, turns out to be a girl because then we can recycle all that stuff. There's Violet, there she is. Oh, where's Violet? See, you don't have to spend any money to have fun here. You can just run around the store and be an idiot. There's even a little CBD store over here. This diagram is non-confusing and shows you exactly how CBD will heal every single part of your body. This bomb takes away the pain when nothing else will. Is there anything CBD won't cure? My guess is boredom, that's why marijuana is still a thing. Do you have a shrine to your god yet? And if you don't have a god yet, there are several here to pick from. Quick stop at the car. Apparently she doesn't have unlimited energy. There's like a military exercise or something happening over here. Got you a couple snacks. This way you don't get too tired. Or actually this way she does get tired and she just falls asleep in there and we don't have to carry her. Now if you're from New Jersey, all of your stores are in this little section. You've got the Armani outlet. You'll want to check that out. Across from that, the Dolce & Gabbana outlet. And then over here, the worst of them all, Saks Off Fifth. Where are we going next? All right, let's go. Oh, it's right here. Sweet. Ooh, dinosaur jackets and a rhino t-shirt. Now, Violet's growing a lot, so we're definitely gonna spend money here. That's fine. And uh, it looks like I never pick any of this stuff that Violet gets to wear. Can we get this taco t-shirt? I would wear that. Maybe that's the reason why. And I have no idea how kid sizes work. This is totally confusing. Any winners? Sea creatures? Okay, I'm a fan of sea creatures. Are those baby chicks? No, those are pears. Violet, you're gonna be styling. Also, it's worth mentioning that even though I dress like an absolute bum and I make my own shorts, I don't want Konami or Violet to look like that. I don't want them to suffer with self-inflicted cheapness like I do, so I can't have my family being naked. Well, you could, but people might get offended. What is gonna be the quality difference between regular Old Navy and Old Navy at the outlet? How could they possibly make their stuff any cheaper? I, I don't understand. Hey, you can get out outlet Crocs, like these guys right here. But I don't think you can get the Justin Bieber Crocs. Diesel, it's probably still too expensive. And Abercrombie and & Fitch, what kind of self-respecting person would shop here? That's me. We're going to Abercrombie? All right, I guess. Okay, good. We only lasted less, less than a minute inside the store. We have redeemed this shopping trip. I wanna take it back. I don't shop Abercrombie. Here's a boring store for me to visit. 
Oh, I gotta do this one on myself. Okay, I would buy these, but that's a small. There's no mediums, and then it's just large and extra large. Wow, the next time you see somebody with a Gucci bag in public and you get all jealous, don't let your feelings get hurt because the line for that place is like around the block for Outlet Gucci. You sure you don't want me to take you to Outlet Gucci for next time we come here? I go on the Madison Avenue. Madison Avenue Gucci? No, actually. I like a Celine Chanel. Now we're at the food court, and since my goal is to limit disappointment, we're not eating at any of these places. Look, right next to the door, you can get fake burritos at Chipotle. This place is pretty big, though. It looks like if you are hungry, there is quite a few places to pick from. This place says it's an authentic Brooklyn pizzeria at the outlet. I feel like marketing and reality are totally disconnected at this point. Now we're at American Eagle, and if Abercrombie was like going back to high school, my guess is that this is like middle school. Are people wearing this stuff in middle school? That's too short. Let me show you why I make my own shorts. These are $50, $50 ripped shorts, same as a pair of jeans, but these homemade jean shorts that I'm wearing happen to be from this brand, and I didn't pay anything extra for them. I'm sorry, but if you buy those, it's an absolute scam. Wow, I've got anxiety already. There's stuff just kind of everywhere. Nothing's organized. There's no way you'll find anything quickly. All right, give me your opinion on something. I could pull this off. Okay, it's only $60. I gotta decide if I'm in love with it. I don't think we're made for each other. I'm of the mind that this entire outlet, this whole system is just an absolute waste of money. No one actually needs any of the stuff that's for sale here except for the baby clothes. All right, now we're going back to New York City. Crappy neighborhood, it's uh, a story. Really? Our crappy neighborhood? It's an expensive neighborhood. Not really. Not really. All right, I'm at the rental car return. And let's just say that I do not recommend this car. Straight up, the suspension was horrible. It was all over the road. My daughter threw up three times. Gas mileage was absolutely terrible. And to be honest with you, for something that was an upgrade, I feel like it was more of a ripoff. Now, if you're curious as to why I decided to rent that, I didn't want my family driving around in a tiny little compact, which was our other option. So I guess safety is probably safer. I also have to eat something. So I'm going to order Uber and Bear burger at the exact same time that way when I get home which is close to bear burger I can just pick up my food how you doing who are you here for thank you all right so I'm home now my immaculate planning wasn't that great my food's not ready Violet did you have fun did you have fun on our trip I'll see you guys later